Today, I want to cover the uh, cartridge overall length and how to figure this out in your custom rifle. This is a uh, seven millimeter SOM rifle that's behind us, which is what we're going to use for the demonstration today. And this is going to be the proper technique and showing you the proper tools to figure out your cartridge overall length. This is a big, big deal in accuracy. Knowing your bullet jump is crucial and knowing how to adjust for that bullet jump as the bar barrel wears over time to optimize your accuracy for the whole life of your barrel of your rifle. So let's move over here a little closer and let's check out some of these tools that assist you in checking your cartridge overall length. Okay, let's go over these tools. Uh, this is the overall length gauge from Hornady and this is a modified case gauge. We have our seven millimeter bullet installed through here, just it just a slip fit. You want to make sure that the bullet's plenty far down so that way it's not touching anything when you go into the rifle with this. Just a simple lock on it with a plastic rod. It's not too fancy. This will get inserted uh, through the bolt raceway of the rifle and against the shoulder area of your head spacing on this particular caliber and then we're going to use the lock, we're going to unlock it and we're going to push our bullet until it stops up into the lands of the rifle barrel and then we're going to lock this down and that's going to be our measurement. So let's go over our next tool we're going to use. We're going to be going off of the O-Jive. Uh, the O-Jive is the best measurement you can possibly go on. This fits over the top of the bullet like so and uses your particular bushing it has got a cut out in the rod so you can measure straight and it's going to give you a measurement this is the measurement that you want to keep uh, for your reloading purposes from when the rifle's brand new to where the rifle's aged you still want to you want to keep that measurement handy in your reloading notes so anyways they make oh with all these bushings here this is a seven millimeter 28 uh, bushing that we have installed here on our Mitsutoyo caliper Use a good caliper set, you really do, and make sure, just make sure to zero it. Use a good caliper set, don't buy anything cheap because the readings from them do vary. And then it comes with a selection of different bushings here. Uh, I've added a couple to this one. Uh, I've got a, let's see, there is a 6.5 millimeter or the 26 it's labeled on. That's also added right here because the kit doesn't come with that 6.5 millimeter. And I also have a 33 caliber as well. Um, so anyways, that's a selection of them. That's going to work for all your different calibers out there. It's a handy, handy kit. And now I'm going to move over to the action. I've got a cleaning <coughs> rod inserted through the barrel. It's a coated rod. And we're going to push this back out of the way. And we're going to insert our tool, modified case gauge, through the bolt raceway up into the chamber and we're going to measure this cartridge overall length of this rifle. So let's go ahead and, and move this rod back just a tad bit. And I'm going to unlock the tool. I'm going to drop the bullet down in so we're not touching the lands. And I'm going to insert through the bolt raceway the modified case gauge into the chamber. I'm going to hold this firm so that I know that it's up against the chamber itself, the shoulder, and I'm going to go ahead and just lightly push this rod in and just hold it nice and gentle. Doesn't have, you don't have to push real hard. You don't want to push that bullet into the riflings because you will. And then we're going to use the cleaning rod over here to just barely bump that whole unit back. So anyways we're just going to bump that back here quick. Just a little pop here and it just loosened all of it up. Otherwise the bullet's going to stay there. Now we have an overall length right to our lands. And we can use our tool here to measure that. We're going to slip it over there and put the tool over the top and I've measured this a couple times already before we started the video and I am coming within a half a thousandths plus or minus every time so I know that's a good good length to go off of 
So the ogive is measuring at 2.267 right now, and I've had up to 6.8. So I'm plus or minus a half a thousandth. That's a really good measurement. So we can get the proper jump on our bullet. So that's our baseline to the lands figure that we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull 40 thousandths off of that measurement, and that's where we're gonna start our load development on this cartridge. Remember to use this technique in your rifle to figure out your cartridge overall lengths. Maximize your accuracy, reload right, and shoot straight. This is Eric from Blue Mountain Precision.